Hello everyone, I am Ring Out the Divine Brown with Ultimate Boy Girl, and we are at the Dear Frank Red Carpet Movie premiere. Stay tuned for exclusive interviews and more. Good evening, my name is Leon Ramsey, and I'm here with the Ultimate Boy Girl. Here with Josh Webber, the Dear Film. I wanted to ask you, like, what is your definition of black love? Yeah, that has never been done. I think it would be a good. Ryan White, Brian, can you please tell me uh, how are you able to mentally cleanse yourself after playing roles like Stump the Yard, being the alpha male and romance, and then you played in I Can Do Back All By Myself, being the one that was doing the infidelity, and then also kind of like a talent. <laughs> Wow. So how did you clean up yourself when you have to do a role? My family. Like, okay. okay. Yeah, we go on a vacation every New Year's Eve right after Christmas. And I try to get as much as my family as I can. But I'm not eating these characters. I mean, there's, there's bits and pieces in each one, but you know, we're playing maybe. Okay. So that's what we need. Great, solid foundation. Um, what is black love? Yes, because in this uh, in this film, like you know, we have black love, but we didn't know the whole time that the wife was doing her thing. We found this diary, snap. So, what is your advice to all of the married couples that probably have dealt with the same situation, and how can they maintain and keep that black love long lasting and well, healthy? What I learned from my parents is make it make the goal be forever. Okay. You know, that, that sometimes it is about forever, as we see in this movie. It is about me forever. Good evening, my name is Leon Ramsey, and I'm here with the Ultimate Boy Girl. I'm here with Josh Weber, the maker of the film. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you as well. A uh, pleasure. Um, so tell me, what inspired what inspired you to make this film? Um, it was just a, a collaborative effort uh, by myself and a bunch of other individuals. Okay. And uh, we were just inspired with the uh, the original script. We thought it was great and uh, felt the um, implication to make it. Awesome. And so, when making, uh, I guess, when making this film, uh, where did you draw inspiration? Uh, getting it from the script to the screen? Um, we grew uh, inspiration for the film from script to screen, from basic instincts of filmmaking and, and uh, I mean, anything from your day-to-day -day life that helps to draw uh, inspiration from... Oh, oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, definitely from day-to-day -day life and... Uh, real case situations that may have happened in the past okay. or uh, could happen in reality. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And then lastly, uh, what would you like for the audience to take away from the film when they see it? Uh, we would like for people to take away uh, from the film that nothing is uh, too serious. My relationship is pretty open about things, so I don't, you know, I'm not really interested in other women. That makes any sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. <laughs> so, uh, so TMZ, you're not a, yeah, yeah, I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't got to be on TMZ. I can rather do shit like this. Uh, so you're not a fan of the hot girl summer? No, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, shout out Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a fan. Like, shout out Megan. Like, yeah, you know, her concerts and everything, seeing, you know, her presence, her stage presence, and just, you know, how she hit the scene for the culture and all of that. I love that, you know. Shout out to her, Cardi D, Nicki Minaj, all the young ladies, like, really standing up doing their shit. I give it to her. Okay. But as it goes to really out. being a hot girl and being a hot boy out here, I don't know about all that. I'm, so, I'm grown. I'm too old. So at what age do you think like people should start looking for their true soulmate? Um, well, I think like every summer, you know, winter shall come. And it depends on, you know, how you live your life and what you feel like you're doing in your, your summer. You know okay. what I mean? But, you know, prepare for the winter. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, like, I do want to ask you one more thing. 
Um, or should we be expecting you any any more upcoming films? Oh yeah, yeah. Look out for me. I'll be here. Uh, His Herds and the Truth will be out in December on UMC, um, and then also um, right now just released with a South Central Love Story. So that's with Christina Cooper, director, producer, starring in it. Um, young Laurel, 24 years old, really out here. I am standing alongside the beautiful Claudia Jordan. How are you? I'm doing well. You look good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Girl. Have so, you seen the movie yet? I haven't seen it yet. Are you going to watch it? But I'm excited to see it. Yes. Let me know what you think at the end. Yes. I'm going to let you know. So you play the role of Beth, yes. correct? Okay, so pretty much you are the wife that is indulging to a diary of infidelity. I have my secrets. <laughs> but you know what sucks when you break up with someone and you can't like cuss them out for what you found out they did? I die in this movie. And then my husband finds my diary and he finds out later. So he can't he can't can't cuss me out, he can't do anything. So while he investigates and tries to find out who killed me. And he goes after all my lovers. There's a bunch of twists and turns, and at the end, it's quite trifling. Interesting. So this is like a suspense. It's a suspense and a thriller. It's a very sexy dark comedy murder mystery because there are some funny parts in this movie. Okay. Where you're like, we're a bit over the top. Um, yeah. Oh. My mom cannot see this movie. <laughs> Well, so I'm gonna. It's not this. for the church folks. <laughs> Although there not is the a church scene yeah. okay. that has never been done in any movie. Ever. So what is your advice to those women who are married but is no longer sexually compatible to their husbands or their spouses? Um, alcohol, Molly, and maybe roofie yourself. <laughs> Listen, I have a great guy now, but if the sex is whack, he's a good guy. I'm not trying to get back on these dating streets. I will roofie both of us. Uh, people check out of relationships too easily. People are disposable, and we got to get back to kind of fighting for what we love. Okay. Is it safe to say that Beth is a hot girl summer? She had a hot girl 20 years, actually. <laughs> but you know what? There's a reason for it, though. Okay. Like, I just want people to... When you write someone off as poor or a hoe, sometimes there's a reason behind that. Okay. A lot of women that people deem promiscuous have been sexually abused as a child, um, have been, you know, raped, and the way they express that is trying to get their power back by turning it on men. So I think we are too quick to write people off. And I think there's a reason for all kinds of behaviors. You know what? And I, and I think that's exactly correct. Because we also talk about women and how women have been molested and abused. But we don't. We never talk about the man. Men are too. Yeah. But for men, a lot of times they brag about something that they, they think it's cool to say, yeah, my babysitter gave me my first sweet ass. You know, your babysitter molested you. And if we're honest about that, and I think in the black community especially, we're so, we make it so taboo. Like, we protect the molesters a lot of times. They yeah. Us, oh, that's your uncle. You don't want to cause any problems. And yeah. then we, we make these little girls and little boys not feel valuable, that no one's fighting for them. And what does that make you do to your psyche? You don't feel valuable, so you may throw your body around. You may try to get love, which you think is love, but it's just like sex. If, but you don't, Less. you're confused. So yeah. I think if this is a deep movie. Yeah, you know what? And I'm, I'm thank you, and I appreciate that because we mental health is huge nowadays, and I think by looking at this movie, it's really going to encourage us yes. to how important mental health is. And but, a lot of people out of touch out here in these streets. Thanks for watching our media coverage of the Dear Frank Red Carpet Movie Experience. We hope you would go to your nearest theaters, November 2019, and support this black film. Continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram at Ultimate Boy Girl. I will be back with more honey, so stay tuned.